Now a Metro East woman is still waiting for fixes to a sidewalk outside of her home. But way after waiting over a decade, village leaders say a dysfunction within the government is causing the holdup. First Lord Forrest Dion Broxton is working to get a Washington Park woman some answers tonight. I truly could fall and I could bust my head. The woman who lives in this house said this sidewalk has been crumbling for 14 years. And as you can see, she says it's only getting worse. Sheila Pigram says the previous mayor of Washington Park told her the sidewalk outside her home was scheduled to be fixed. But they don't do nothing. That didn't happen. Now Pigram is asking the village what's the hold up. She never spoke about this matter. And the first thing you do is go on the news. Code enforcement head Anthony Johnson says his department needs more money. It's hard to, to keep a village, uh, say, running uh, when you, you know, suddenly lose all your, your major uh, departments. Mayor Leonard Moore says the village is still trying to rebuild its fire, police, and public works building lost to a fire years ago. He says the village also just lost out on roughly three and a half million dollars in grant money because the board of trustees wouldn't vote on it. Is it simple to get something like that fixed if you all can work together? Well, there should be grant money for that, okay? But even with the grant money, we don't know what he's doing with the money. Trustees Mary McKinney and Juliet Gosa say the mayor isn't providing financials. Let's look at the numbers in the bank. Moore is holding an agenda for a closed door meeting this past April. No one shows up. Now this is what they asked for. Pegram doesn't care about the politics. She just wants her street fixed. I need help. We need help on this street. In Washington Park, Dion Broxton, First Alert 4.